Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who was the first woman to serve on the Supreme Court? The appointment of the first woman to the Supreme Court of the United States was a significant milestone in American legal history. This historic event occurred in 1981, when President Ronald Reagan nominated a candidate to fill the vacancy left by Justice Potter Stewart. The nominee was a judge from Arizona who had already made several notable achievements in her career. She served as a judge in the Arizona Court of Appeals and had previously been the Assistant Attorney General of Arizona. Additionally, she was the first female state Senate Majority Leader in the country and had served as a judge of the Maricopa County Superior Court. This individual's nomination was part of President Reagan's campaign promise to appoint a woman to the Supreme Court. Her confirmation hearing, which began on September 9, 1981, was the first to be televised. Despite some opposition, particularly from anti-abortion groups, she was confirmed unanimously by the U.S. Senate on September 21, 1981. Upon her confirmation, she became a pivotal figure on the court, often finding herself at the center of its deliberations. Her pragmatic approach to judging earned her the label of a swing vote, although she personally disliked this term. During her nearly 25 years on the court, she authored 676 opinions, including 301 that were the opinion of the court. Her tenure marked a significant shift in the representation of women in the legal profession. When she was appointed, 36% of law school students were women. By the time she retired, this percentage had risen to 48%. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.